Hello friends, welcome to SFDC Amplified. Today we are going to discuss about data types and variable mapics. It is a very important topic, so understand it in a very crucial way. So before starting this topic, I would request you to subscribe to the channel so that you are updated with the latest videos. So let's get started. So, what is the agenda of today's topic? What is variable? What is the data type? Primitive data type? And then in the end, how to declare a variable? So, it's going to be an interesting topic. Let's understand it in depth. So, about Apex, it is having four kind of data type. One, which I just mentioned, is primitive data type. Second is collections. It is very important. Third is S objects. And then fourth is enums. For the scope of this video, we will be going and understanding about the primitive data types. So let's get started. But before that, we need to understand what is a variable. For this, I will be drawing a sim simple image in front of you, which will clear your complete concepts. So this is a container. You can see a placeholder. This is called a variable in Apex. Yes. This is a container which holds the data and that is what is a, what is called a variable. A placeholder you can say or you can say it as a container. So basically we store it in the memory. So if we see in this way, so what happens is that a memory is allocated to a particular variable. So instead of, for example, we are saying a equal to 12, like we say in the algebra. So instead of saying putting 12 here, we will be putting a and then a will be containing the value and that is 12. So in algebra, like we say a equal to 12, b is equal to 15 and then we sum a plus b. The same way we do in the apex. So what is happening is that variable is nothing but the name of memory allocation. So in simple terms, you can remember it as the collection like I just mentioned. So that is what your variable is. I hope this definition is now clear to you. That variable holds the data. Now let's understand about the data type. Now what, it is, a, what is a data type? So unlike humans, a computer doesn't understand a difference between 1, 2, 3, 4, or if I say SFDC amplified, computer won't understand what is the difference. That okay, this is a number, this is a string, it won't understand. So, when creating a variable, we need to declare the data type it contains. So, basically, the type of data it stores. Different data are having different data type. For example, if we are talking about 1, 2, 3, 4, it is having a number kind of data type. As if this simplified is a string. And we cannot have the same data type for different kind of data. And that's where the data type comes into the picture. Now that we have understand what is variable and what is data types, let's understand the important data type of Apex. The first one is string. String is nothing but you can, it is used to hold the string value. That is, for example, if I say string name equal to Smriti. So what is happening? String is the data type and name is the variable name and 
that is holding the smriti string so that's how the string works string is always surrounded with single quote in apex so please note that and it is important to choose the most appropriate data type so for example if we say string a equal to 1 and string b equal to 5 so now if we want to add a plus b it won't show the 6 so because of that we have to choose the appropriate data type now you would understand that why different data type are there for different reasons so this is about the string data type now let's go further and understand the other data type the next data type is the integer data type yes so basically if we understand in simple terms it is used to hold the numbers but it is a number without any decimal points so it cannot hold it a decimal points and how it is written example integer that is the data type and we say stairs that is the variable name and then we say 10 so 10 is being allocated and it is in, in the stairs so 10 is the data and this is variable name stores the data and this is nothing but the data type now let's go further next is about the decimal so now what we store in decimal decimal we can store the number with the decimal points so for example if we have to write it we will write decimal and then we say prop is equal to 0.67 so here decimal is able to take the decimal points integer does not that is the important point you have to note and decimal can take without the points so when you have confusion then use decimal to avoid the data loss now that we are clear with get uh, data uh, now that we are clear with the decimal now let's go further with date so date is nothing but to store the particular date for example your birthday you can store that in the date data type so how we write it date and you can give it as birthday and then you can put your date so that is how we are able to store the date let's take another example for example you want to show the current date so we will be taking date current date and then here we will be saying date dot today that's how we are able to write the date data type now if you want to also store time then we will be using date time data type Date time data type. Basically, we are able to show the particular day and time. For example, you can say date time. Then current time is the variable name equal to date time dot now. So that's how we are able to use the date and date time. data type now we want to go further and the next data type is boolean so boolean is nothing but the true and false so it's very easy to know okay if it is true then it show true otherwise false so example if we say like this boolean so if it is closed example something else is closed then show it as true and that's how that's simple the boolean data type is so now you have understood the different kind of primitive data types so all of these are primitive data types may also because they are the basic data types and also the building blocks and now have we have already seen that 
now we are able to create a variable next x firstly we have to choose the data type and we have to choose the right kind of data type depending on what kind of in, uh, information data we want to store and then we have to put the variable name the variable name can be anything but you have to be as relevant as possible anything you can say almost anything and be as specific because you cannot just write any crazy name and that's not how it works you should be putting something which is relevant to your program so that later when you search you are able to search it prop uh, easily and that's why it should be relatable so when you choose a data type and variable name then you are able to create variables in apex i hope you enjoyed this video for more of these kind of videos stay tuned and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon thank you